All right, another super simplified approach to the chest x-ray and pneumonia. I want to show you three classic patterns because you hear them all the time, and then you can go on and read more about them. This is, again, super simplified. So here's what your lung should normally look like. You know, there's lots of air in there, and so the x-rays penetrate, and it looks dark. But here you can see clearly in sort of what is a sort of almost a wedge-shaped pattern that there's all this white crap in the lung. So that is classic consolidation pneumonia and strep and staph are the classic bugs that do that low bar consolidation. They classically do it. Lots of other things can do it, and they may not do it, right? So let's go and look at the next classic pattern. So in this case, you can see sort of there's this diffuse thing. There's not a normal piece of lung in here. All of these lung has this funny stuff in it. So it's got these nodules, and it's got these little lines. So the lines are called reticular, and the nodules are called nodule, nodule, nodular. So this is a reticular nodular pattern. Now you can have mostly nodules or you can have mostly reticular. This, in a patient who looks like they've got pneumonia, if they have a reticular nodular pattern, is more classic for viral and things like mycoplasma. Okay, But it's not perfect in any way. All right, So don't bake the diagnosis of these things based on the chest x-ray. And I've heard this said many times by smart radiologists, uh, you can't make a bacteriologic diagnosis on x-ray. It's just suggestive of certain patterns. Now let's do one more that comes up a lot. And this one is atelectasis. So this is actually their upper lobe up here. Normally it should be somewhere down here. And it's lost a volume. And it's all been squished up. And this is very densely white here. And it's got this little curve. And so this person has actually collapsed their right upper lobe. Now this classically can occur in somebody who's like, you know, inhaled something, a bean, beanie or something, a little kid, and they've got something stuck here in their airway and then the airway collapses. This can occur in pneumonia as well, can occur when there's a big tumor in here. So let's go over these three again. Again, these are classic. These cannot be used to make diagnoses, but you will hear them. Go off and read more. Classic consolidation, a pneumonia, staph and strep is the classic one that does that. Reticular nodular, if you see it, sometimes more reticular, sometimes more nodular. You think viral and mycoplasma, again, doesn't have to be. And then upper lobe collapse. Can be foreign bodies, can be tumors, can be pneumonias. All right, so again, more links, go read some more. That'll just give you that sort of coat hanger on which to hang more knowledge.